Hi, this is the OG art teacher, and this is glue and glitter. Um, if you're here, it's because you're interested in glitter, as am I, and that puts you in the place of glitterati. Um, there are many people who do not think that glitter belongs in the art room, in the house, in various other places, and those people are correct in their own way because glitter does get everywhere. Everywhere. You cannot do a glitter project without having glue, uh, glitter on your floor, on yourself, maybe scratching your eyeball. Um, try not to rub your eyes while doing stuff with glitter. It's a beautiful and shiny and wonderful, wonderful thing. I personally love glitter. It's um, used in a lot of uh, Hispanic art styles and is, you know, like it's just a little extra fancy. So um, that being said, I am going to add glitter onto a watercolor that I've been doing for a while. Um, I do everything off script, so if I get awkward, it's because I'm trying to think of what to say. So this is my glitter library. Uh, Target has a rush situation where they will drop things off for you day of. Um, and they brought this a while back when I was thinking about adding glitter. I have put it off for quite some time. But now I think that I'm done with this particular painting and it needs some accents. So this is a watercolor that I'm working on for a group show and it is the fly that landed on Pence's head during the vice presidential election or uh, election debates. Um, I found this quite fascinating and uh, um, symbolic and so I wanted to do an homage to it. Um, so the colors I'm thinking about using are going to be uh, black dots on the fly's body, a little bit of something white or translucent in the wings, some just some little accents in here with some red and maybe a center line of white here. But what I'm really what I'm gonna focus on is like the hair. So right now I don't feel like the water watercolor shows that it is Mike Pence's hair. And I want it to look more like old man white hair. So the glitter is going to really help with that. And it's going to add some things that are, I think are missing in the fly's body. Um, so first of all, make sure that you have liquid glue. Elmer's glue oil is good stuff. Um, unless it is super dried out and it has like uh, lid issues. I have three different bottles of glue, one of which works. Um, you can always mix wa uh, water into an older glue bottle to get some of that okay so like I said Everything is pretty unscripted. Um, someone came by to purchase non-contact uh, our old rabbit hutch and they knocked on the door. So anyway, um, this is the fly I'm going to work on and first I'm going to do black. So I'm going to unbox this thing. Make sure that you have a cup or something with a corner like this is, I don't know what this is, but um, Something that you can dump the glitter into after you have poured it all over the paper so that you can get the glitter back into the bottle. Um, glitter conservation is really important because it's basically plastic and waste 
is unfortunate in these types of scenarios. Um, in my classroom, there used to be a lot of a lot of wastage. So the color's not totally right on my camera, which it's just sort of, I'm at the mercy of the light coming in through the windows and the lighting in the house. So here's the black. I'm going to go ahead and do the white first. Actually, I'm not sure. I'm going to do the black last. So you have to do each one and then let the color dry before you do the next one otherwise your glitter will stick onto the previous colors um, if they're still wet and you can have drippage and other unfortunate unnecessary situations so the thing I'm most excited about is the hair so I'm gonna go ahead and have white and silver out and since they're pretty similar, it's not going to be a big deal if they get a little bit mixed up, but you still want to do them separately. So I'm going to start with the silver since it's the darker one, but I think really it's your decision when you're doing your whatever work. Um, it doesn't, there's no real, like, I don't know choice in that matter. Alright, so glue all works really nicely. Uh, I really, there's a couple of brands of glue out there that I would not suggest using. If it chunks up a lot or it's too thin, it is really hard to get the um, lines and textures and just like the little details that you might want to do because we're not doing everything in glitter we're just doing some like some additions some and so right here I'm gonna zoom in on that uh, is the starting point and with the glue and usually let's see if I can you can, it's a big ball, and the light is just not working with me. Let's see exposure. Anyway, so this is the this is where the glue starts. It can be helpful to close the glue bottle and drag it a little bit so that you don't have just these big balls or just like clumps of glue right at the start of your line um, it'll make it look more uh, natural and organic you can also halfway glue like halfway open the glue bottle to let less out which can be helpful um, and if you're steady with it you'll get nice lines but okay so you you really can't see what I'm doing. Zoom back out. Exposure. Okay, so I'm gonna work over here because it looks like you might be able to actually see it. Um, but for the hair, I'm just doing lines. Like, just doing little lines to add a little extra fun thing, fun element into this. It gives it some texture and some 3D, a three dimensional feel. Um, usually if I want to get pretty clean lines, I'll slowly let the glue out um, and try to just like slowly make my way to where I want to go from above. If you like put the tip of the glue and squeeze out, you get a line that won't hold anything with two streaks on either side that will hold. So 
that's one way that you can play around with it. Um, I'm going to basically be covering anywhere that I put this glue is going to get covered with glitter. So, okay. I'm not going to use the silver on the wings. I want to try to use something different um, so that each color has like has or each element like spot on the fly has its own um, accentuating color accentuating not the best with words sometimes so apply the glitter really liberally like you're gonna put like a bunch of glitter down um, because remember you're going to have something you can fold a piece of paper in half but you're gonna have something that you're gonna dump all this glitter into after um, you've like kinda let it dry for a couple of minutes and you are gonna get it on the table I will show you how to get it off the table momentarily well once I do that I'm probably gonna use this whole bottle on what I the glue spots that I've put down and if I run out of glitter I can just wait until I've done my return to bottle So this bit down here really isn't going to get a whole bunch. So now I've got a bunch of stripes of glitter and it looks really pretty and interesting. And I think it would be fun just to have that. But I'm going to wait a couple of minutes or like not a couple of minutes. I'll probably pause it so that, you know, you're not stuck here waiting all that time. Um, and then I'll show you how to like reuse or put the glitter back in the bottle without a ton of mess. Okay, I think I've given this enough time to at least get gummy. So I'm gonna grab my container, but if I were, you know, just a person out there like you, who might not want to get glitter on anything, I might want to be able to throw away the glittery thing at the end. Get a piece of paper and fold it in half. So I guess just for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to use the um, more, more likely item for people to have in the house. So what I do is try to slip the paper underneath oops I like having the windows open if the leather's good and the leather's good so try to like kind of curl your work and shake it so that everything's kind of in the middle and let it like let it come off and then maybe go on the other side because I've still got some glitter stuck on here and kind of shake it off and as you can see or maybe not see all that well there is glitter everywhere I'm lucky that my spouse also likes glitter otherwise I might get in trouble not really I don't get in trouble we talk stuff out okay so that was kind of a blocked view, but I used it, the crease in this paper and to pour the glitter back into the bottle. And now I am going to put 
the paper kind of underneath the lip of the table and I am going to maybe not use my hands because uh, it's all over the place. Um, maybe you have a rag nearby or you know some other type of wiping device that can handle the glitter and it's sticking to the side of my table not much of it is actually going in here um, so if you have a little tiny vacuum cleaner that might also be something to uh, bring into your glitterati relationship with yourself um, that is what I'll be doing after this brief tutorial. So I've got most of my glitter back. I'm pretty happy about that. To me, that's a that's a good situation. Um, now I'm gonna do some. I'll go ahead and skip the white of the hair since I already showed you how I was gonna do that. And now I'm gonna do dots of black because I think that would be really fun um, okay so again with the glue bottle always make sure that you twist the top back down otherwise you're gonna have gummy glue eventually maybe not right away but eventually so to make dots you have to be patient um, the glue w wants to go everywhere because it's a liquid and so you must control thyself and have the patience to let the glue, watch the glue and make sure that it's doing what you want it to do. Otherwise you'll end up with dots that are like little chocolate kisses or comets with tails. And, um, these are probably, this is probably not going to be a frameable art piece unless it's, unless it's, um, mounted inside of like a memory type box where it's just hanging in there. Um, one thing that I like about my art in particular or doing stuff like this is that like over time some of it's gonna fall off it's like this is definitely gonna leave a mark in whoever's house it ends up in um so i've made two glue mistakes at this point which like i guess i'm i try not to be a perfectionist because i don't believe in perfection i don't believe it's a possibility i think computers are about you know whatever um but i wasn't paying attention very well and so now i have an organic sphere which means i have a little tail and a little tiny dot but that's okay because i'm not a super hyper perfectionist like some people like torture themselves with being um and I got to make sure I've got dots all in the places where I want them before I add my glitter. Maybe I should have done this as one of those speed throughs where you just watch the person do the stuff. There might um, actually YouTube has a way where you can like make the person's thing go faster, which is something you might want to do if you don't want to listen to my ongoing commentary. Okay, so there's also a bunch of black areas over here that do not have, um, I saw, well, I saw the polka dots on a, the reference drawing that, or the reference photo I used, but now I think I'm just going to do some, like, kind of like hairy stuff so this time I am using the tip 
of the glue bottle because I don't want it to look as perfectionist like I want it to kind of have a a textury nasty like fly situation happening here so but I also don't want to lose the artwork underneath the glitter so it's important to kind of make sure that I'm not overdoing it because it could overshadow the excellence of the artwork itself. Um, but I think adding black little hairs everywhere will really add to the grotesqueness and help the viewer see where those legs are because they're kind of disappearing. Maybe. Okay, so now we've got glue in a whole lot of places. Um, the most important spot that I want are these dots. So I'm going to start here. Uh, I am making sure that each dot is fully covered and trying not to spread the glitter like a whole bunch in empty areas, which is kind of difficult. Um, I like to practice with both of my hands, practice control, just kind of for fun. Um, it also allows me to rest my wrists if I need to. And who knows if I, you know, if I lose the ability in my right hand, I'd like to be a little bit practiced with my left. Okay, so those are all the dots. Now I'm going to go back to my dominant hand because it's easier to just kind of sprinkle. Um, and now I'm just going to go pretty much everywhere where there is a spot that might get, keep a little bit of glitter on it. So if you look sideways at the glue, you can see like a level of stickiness or um, dryness. And you can tell a lot by the transparency of the glue. So as you want to try not to get on the other, I mean, you're going to get the colors caught on each other but you still want to try to not get the glitter like on top on top of other colors um and again there's no perfect way to do this this is just the og way okay so now i've got my fly covered and a lot of glitter and i'm gonna pause the video so that it can dry a bit before I pour it off. If I went ahead and poured it off right now, all of these little glue dots that I made that are like literally little spheres would drip in the direction of where I'm doing my like glue dump or glitter dump. So if I had it here and was like dumping it all, like the glue dots would spread that way. So that's one reason why it's really important to wait um, between each color uh, because, oh, I forgot some spots, because like the glue needs to dry enough so that it holds onto only the color that you want it to use, to like, you know, be with. Um, also, I think I said it before, but you can tell how dry the glue is by how transparent it is. Uh, Elmer's glue dries pretty clear. Um, so if it's super, super white, it's still really, really liquidy. And you can't see that once the glitter is on there, but when you're putting glitter down, um, you can tell. Um, and if it's starting to look kind of clearish, then that means that it is not going to hold glitter at all. Alright, so I'm going to pause the video for a bit. It's gone quite long. 
the black will be the end of it, and hopefully so far you've learned how to use glue with caution and patience, how to re you restock your glitter um, by reusing it and by not wasting it. Um, the other thing about waiting for it to dry more is that you'll get less pieces of glitter going into your glitter bottle that have glue with like wet glue attached to them. So if you pour your like if I poured right now, then little clumps of glued glitter might end up in my glue bottle or glitter bottle, which would make it like chunky. And ch chunky is good sometimes, but it's not like maybe what how you want to end your materials for the you know time being. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and. Um, in this video since I already... Nah, I'll, I'll come back. <clears throat> okay, I think it's been long enough. I folded this in half because there's still silver glitter inside and I don't really want to mix my silver and my black. Um, even though they're both beautiful colors. They... For me, aren't going to go in the same place. So, as you can see, I'm having some difficulty with this, which you may also. But I'm curving the watercolor up, and I am pointing it down toward that piece of paper with the crease in it as much as possible. And then I'm going to flip it over, just in case my dots were kind of leaning one way. Now they can kind of be balanced. Um... Wait till like you go outside to actually blow off any extra glitter, and this is what I ended up with. I don't know how well you can see, um, but it has added an element that I like very much. And I think the glitter can be really fun in the right spaces with the um, right care. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this to the side to dry next to me on the bench. And here's my bottle of black. And I'm using the creased side so no silver goes in. And I'm pouring the black back in. And then you can kind of, to get it to go all toward the center, tap it down. And then, usually there's a mixture on here. I don't currently have an empty bottle of glitter. But what I usually do is um, when I have an empty bottle of glitter or when I have an empty container to put it into... I'll just get all the glitter that I mixed together and put it into the same container. Um, okay, so that was a bit of a long video. Thank you for watching if you watched all the way through, and if you didn't, that's okay. Um, maybe fast forwarding would be helpful. If you want to contact me, you can always contact me at uh, the OG art teacher at gmail.com. I take um, I take on students of all ages of all abilities for virtual art lessons. Thirty dollars an hour, just pretty good. Especially since I'm giving free tutorials um, on YouTube, and I will continue to do so. This has been lovely, and I am now signing off. Thank you.